Argo spot. In optics, the Argo spot, Poisson spot, or Fresnel bright spot is a bright point that appears at the center of a circular object's shadow due to Fresnel diffraction. This spot played an important role in the discovery of the wave nature of light and is a common way to demonstrate that light behaves as a wave. The basic experimental setup requires a point source, such as an illuminated pinhole or a diverging laser beam. The dimensions of the setup must comply with the requirements for Fresnel diffraction. Namely, the Fresnel number must satisfy where. Finally, the edge of the circular object must be sufficiently smooth. These conditions together explain why the bright spot is not encountered in everyday life. However, with the laser sources available today, it is undemanding to perform an Argo spot experiment. In astronomy, the Argo spot can also be observed in the strongly defocused image of a star in a Newtonian telescope. There, the star provides an almost ideal point source at infinity, and the secondary mirror of the telescope constitutes the circular obstacle. When light shines on a circular obstacle, Huygens' principle says that every point in the plane of the obstacle acts as a new point source of light. The light coming from points on the circumference of the obstacle and going to the center of the shadow travels exactly the same distance, so all the light passing close by the object arrives at the screen in phase and constructively interferes. This results in a bright spot at the shadow's center, where geometrical optics and particle theories of light predict that there should be no light at all. At the beginning of the 19th century, the idea that light does not simply propagate along straight lines gained traction. Thomas Young published his double slit experiment in 1807. The original Arago spot experiment was carried out a decade later and was the deciding experiment in the question of whether light is a particle or a wave. It is thus an example of an experimentum crucis. At that time, many favored Isaac Newton's corpuscular theory of light. Among them the theoretician Simeon Denis Poisson. In 1818, the French Academy of Sciences launched a competition to explain the properties of light, where Poisson was one of the members of the judging committee. The civil engineer Augustine Jean Fresnel entered this competition by submitting a new wave theory of light. Poisson studied Fresnel's theory in detail and, being a supporter of the particle theory of light, looked for a way to prove it wrong. Boisson thought that he had found a flaw when he argued that a consequence of Fresnel's theory was that there would exist an on-axis bright spot in the shadow of a circular obstacle, where there should be complete darkness according to the particle theory of light. Since the Arago spot is not easily observed in everyday situations, Poisson interpreted it as an absurd result and that it should disprove Fresnel's theory. However, the head of the committee, Dominique Francois Jean Arago, decided to perform the experiment in more detail. He molded a 2 mm metallic disc to a glass plate with wax. He succeeded in observing the predicted spot, which convinced most scientists off wave nature of light and gave Fresnel the win. Arago later noted that the phenomenon had already been observed by Delisle and Moraldi a century earlier. It only turned out much later that light can be equally described as a particle. At the heart of Fresnel's wave theory is the Huygens Fresnel principle, which states that every unobstructed point of a wavefront becomes the source of a secondary spherical wavelet and that the amplitude of the optical field at a point on the screen is given by the superposition of all those secondary wavelets taking into account their relative phases. This means that the field at a point P on the screen is given by a surface integral. Where the inclination factor formula underscore 3 which ensures that the secondary wavelets do not propagate backwards is given by an the first term outside of the integral represents the oscillations from the source wave at a distance r. Similarly, the term inside the integral represents the oscillations from the secondary wavelets at distances r. In order to derive the intensity behind the circular obstacle using this integral one assumes that the experimental parameters fulfill the requirements of the near field diffraction regime. Going to polar coordinates then yields the integral for a circular object of radius a. This integral can be solved numerically. If g is large and b is small so that the angle formula underscore 7 is not negligible one can write the integral fourth on axis case as the source intensity, which is the square of the field amplitude, is formula underscore 9 and the intensity at the screen formula underscore 10. The on axis intensity is a function of the distance b is hence given by. This shows that the on axis intensity at the center of the shadow tends to the source intensity as if the circular object was not present at all. Furthermore, this means that the Argo spot is present even just a few obstacle diameters behind the disk. 
to calculate the full diffraction image that is visible on the screen one has to consider the surface integral of the previous section. One cannot exploit circular symmetry anymore, since the line between the source and an arbitrary point on the screen does not pass through the center of the circular object. With the aperture function formula underscore 12 which is 1 for transparent parts of the object plane and 0 otherwise the integral that needs to be solved is given b. Numerical calculation of the integral using the trapezoidal rule or Simpson's rule is not efficient and becomes numerically unstable especially for configurations with large Fresnel number. However, it is possible to solve the radial part of the integral so that only the integration over the azimuth angle remains to be done numerically. For a particular angle one must solve the line integral for the ray with origin at the intersection point of the line PP with the circular object plane. The contribution for a particular ray with azimuth angle formula underscore 14 and passing a transparent part of the object plane from formula underscore 15 to formula underscore 16 is. So for each angle one has to compute the intersection point of the ray with the circular object and then sum the contributions formula underscore 18 for a certain number of angles between 0 and formula underscore 19. Results of such a calculation are shown in the following images. The images show simulated Arago spots in the shadow of a disk of varying diameter at a distance of 1 meter from the disk. The point source has a wavelength of 633 nanometers and is located 1 meter from the disk. The image width corresponds to 16 mm. For an ideal point source, the intensity of the Arago spot equals that of the undisturbed wave front. Only the width of the Arago spot intensity peak depends on the distances between source, circular object and screen, as well as the source's wavelength and the diameter of the circular object. This means that one can compensate for a reduction in the source's wavelength by increasing the distance cell between circular object and screen or reducing circular object's diameter. The lateral intensity distribution on the screen has in fact the shape of a squared zeroth Bessel function of the first kind when close to the optical axis and using a plane wave source. Where? The following images show the radial intensity distribution of the simulated Arago spot images above. The red lines in these three graphs correspond to the simulated images above, and the green lines were computed by applying the corresponding parameters to the squared Bessel function given above. The main reason why the Arago spot is hard to observe in circular shadows from conventional light sources is that such light sources are bad approximation soft point sources. If the wave source has a finite size s then the Arago spot will have an extent that is given by s times b, g, as if the circular object acted like a lens. At the same time the intensity of the Arago spot is reduced with respect to the intensity of the undisturbed wave front. If the cross-section of the circular object deviates slightly from its circular shape the shape of the point source Arago spot changes. In particular, if the object has an ellipsoidal cross-section the Arago spot has the shape of an evolute. Note that this is only the case if the source is close to an ideal point source. From an extended source the Arago spot is only affected marginally, since one can interpret the Arago spot as a point spread function. Therefore, the image of the extended source only becomes washed out due to the convolution with the point spread function, but it does not decrease in overall intensity. The Argo spot is very sensitive to small scale deviations from the ideal circular cross section. This means that a small amount of surface roughness of the circular object can completely cancel out the bright spot. This is shown in the following three diagrams, which are simulations of the Argo spot from a 4 mm diameter disk. The simulation includes a regular sinusoidal corrugation of the circular shape of amplitude 10 micrometers, 50 micrometers and 100 micrometers, respectively. Note, that the 100 micrometers edge corrugation almost completely removes the central bright spot. This effect can be best understood using the Fresnel zone concept. The field transmitted by a radial segment that stems from a point on the obstacle edge provides a contribution whose phase is tight to the position of the edge point relative to Fresnel zones. If the variance in the radius of the obstacle are much smaller than the width of Fresnel zone near the edge, the contributions form radial segments are approximately in phase and interfere constructively. However, if random edge corrugation have amplitude comparable to or greater than the width of that adjacent Fresnel zone, the contributions from radial segments are no longer in phase and cancel each other reducing the Arago spot intensity. The adjacent Fresnel zone is approximately given by. The edge corrugation should not be much more than 10% of this width to see a close to ideal Arago spot. 
In the above simulations with the 4 mm diameter disc the Jason Frane L zone has a width of about 77 micrometers. Recently, the Argo Spot experiment was demonstrated with a supersonic expansion beam of deuterium molecules. Material particles behaving like waves is known from quantum mechanics. The wave nature of particles actually dates back to de Broglie's hypothesis as well as Davison and Germer's experiments. An Argo spot of electrons, which also constitute matter waves, can be observed in transmission electron microscopes when examining circular structures of a certain size. The observation of an Argo spot with large molecules, thus proving their wave nature, is a topic of current research. Beside the demonstration of wave behavior, the Argo spot also has a few other applications. One of the ideas is to use the Argo spot as a straight line referencing alignment systems. Another is to probe aberrations in laser beams by using the spot's sensitivity to beam aberrations. Finally, the aragoscope has been proposed as a method for dramatically improving the diffraction limited resolution of space based telescopes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.